The window title setting lets you customize how VS Code computes window titles. You can use this to increase the amount of information that's shown in the window title, perhaps making the window more identifiable, or you can really completely customize the window title to fit your workflow. Now here, if you look at the default window title at the top of the screen, you can see that VS Code is displaying the current file name, the current workspace name, so I'm in the VS Code workspace, and then the current application name. Now with the window title setting, we can completely re reorder all of these elements, we can add more information, we can remove information, so we, there's a whole lot of flexibility. To get started customizing this, I'm going to open up my settings using control comma or command comma on Mac, and I'm going to search for title. So I want the window title setting here. And this setting is just a string value, but it uses a number of different placeholders that will be updated based on the currently active file, your currently active workspace, all of that type of information. So the setting here is describing all of the placeholders that you can use. Let's take a look at some of these placeholders in the default setting value. So here's the default setting value. Again, this is just a string, but if we look at the placeholders, you can see that the window title will show whether or not the file is current or the current file is dirty, then a short version of the currently active file's name. So that'd just be the file name itself, a separator, the name of the workspace that we're in, and then another separator, and then the application name. And as I said, you can go in and completely customize this. So let's go and actually remove the application name first here. So I'll just get rid of that section. And you can see that when I go and save this, the application name is no longer shown in the title up here. And now let's, instead of showing the short version of the, um, of the currently active file here, let's actually show a relative path in the current workspace. So I'm gonna update active editor short to active editor medium. And as soon as I switch back to our normal file here, you'll see that the relative path to the current file is now being displayed in the window title because we switched from active editor short to active editor medium. Now, if we wanted to, we could even have the full, full path being displayed here. So I could do like active editor long, which would display the full path instead. Now, looking back at this setting, there's a number of other things you can customize, of course. So let's just go back and use active editor medium. You can add additional strings if you wanted to. So you could just add like a little smiley face. You can do all sorts of fun things here. You can reorder things and take a look through all of the different placeholder values to find out what information you actually want to be shown in the window title, what you'd find relevant and where you, how you actually want this information displayed, like what order makes sense for you and how can you identify multiple VS Code windows using this window title. So that's a quick look at the window title setting.